Hi, and welcome to AXI. You're here in our training room, and today we're going to take a look at a new product line in the MTC series. This has a number of different features uh, that were improvements on the existing MTC system. So we've incorporated a bag filter housing now on the actual system, so it's not no longer an option. Uh, that'll allow you to pre-filter and also do water removal, where we have a uh, water sight gauge here, so you'll know what the water level is inside your filter. We've also incorporated two vacuum gauges, one to show you what the actual static head is on the system, so whatever your line is at for a vacuum, and another on the other side of the bag so you can get a glimpse of what the pump is actually seeing for a vacuum. And using this, you can get a differential basically of your filter and have a good idea when that filter needs to be changed. Moving down the system, leaving the bag filter, we enter the pump down to the bottom. Uh, leaving the pump, coming up, we reach the diverter valve. Now, with our pr best practices, we typically recommend uh, two different modes, basically pre-filtering and then fine filtration mode. Uh, on the existing systems, we had two discharge ports. So one would be for pre-filtering, and then when you were done pre-filtering, you would disconnect the hose, attach it to your fine filtration side, and then start the system back up. Uh, here, we've eliminated the need to take off the discharge hose. What we're doing now is a diverter valve. So diversion in this direction will basically bypass any of the plumbing and come straight out. Uh, in that mode, you'll basically be using the pre-filter only, uh, removing large contaminants, sludge, water, back into the tank or into an existing holding tank. Uh, and then you'll have the ability to switch over to fine filtration mode. So changing the diverter valve changes the flow path along this way, underneath this filter bank, through this plumbing, through two spin-on filters in series, where you can step down between a high micron to a low micron or a high micron to a water block filter and kind of do two things at once. Uh, obviously, this is going to put a little more stress in your pump, so we've given you two uh, differential gauges. These differential gauges will show you the pressure drop over either filter and give you an idea when you need to change them. Now, going back to these filters, uh, one thing on the existing systems that was always uh, a semi-issue is taking off a spin-on filter usually leads to uh, leakage. Uh, the plumbing is always full of water, full of diesel I should say, and that will spill basically as soon as you take these off and break the seal. What we've done here is we've, we've put a switch in the back here that'll give you the ability to drain these two filters. Uh, the way that works is the switch is tied back into the vacuum side or the pre-filter vessel and also back into the back side of these filters. So we drain and bring air into these filters and drain the filters down to a comfortable level where you can take them off and actually not spill the fluid everywhere. So the number of features on these systems that make it much better than the MTC uh, existing product line uh, need to be practiced in the field, but there are a variety of things that will actually benefit the actual customer and the person doing the actual fuel polishing. All right, so with this system, I briefly touched on the different operational modes, uh, our best practices for the field. Now, with this system, the first mode, or we call this phase one, uh, is water removal, part, large particulate removal, sludge removal, uh, stuff in the bottom of the tank you really want to get rid of. This system comes with a 25-foot clear suction hose, uh, so you'll attach the suction hose and drop that into the actual tank in the worst spot, the lowest, most dirty spot, really. Uh, you can use a downpipe or a wand if you want to reach hard to hard to get areas of the lowest portion. So you'll have that inside the tank. Uh, what you want to do is you want to keep your diverter valve in bypass mode, connect the discharge hose, but instead of putting it back in the tank, you'll actually put it into a separate holding container. That way, when you pull things up the bottom of the tank that you don't want to return to the tank, you're just storing them for disposal after you're done. So phase one is really uh, pull off the stuff in the bottom of the tank, put it into a separate holding tank, and what you want to do during that period is watch the clear suction hose, and you're going to see water, and you're going to see sludge coming out, and when you're ready to cut that off, when you no longer see water or large sludge or stuff visible to the eye, uh, you'll stop the system, shut it down, dispose of your container, uh, and you're basically ready for phase two at that point. Now in phase two, uh, we use the same kind of a setup, except your discharge port uh, it's still connected to the same hose, you just want to take it out of the separate container and put it into the tank. Uh, we always recommend putting the discharge of your system and the suction of your system in two ends of the tank. What that'll do is that'll create a nice flow of fluid or fuel along the bottom of your tank and brush and sweep any of that dirt and particulate into the suction hose. Uh, that'll circulate your tank, you'll do that for a number of passes. Uh, bypass mode, basically you want to keep this, this lever arm here on the diverter valve in line with the port. You are bypassing all the fine filtration. During this phase, the goal is to remove large particulate, uh, some small particulate, but mostly stuff that you don't want to get caught up in your spin-on filters. Uh, typically, spin-on filters are a higher rated media or a higher efficiency. 
So we want to avoid clogging those up too quickly. They're going to cost more money. So economically, it's better to use bag filters until the fuel is at a certain cleanliness level where you're ready to remove uh, very, very fine particulate. So stage one, or stage, sorry, phase two here would be putting in a high micron, maybe a 250 micron, 100 micron particulate bag in this filter and kidney looping the tank in bypass mode until that filter basically doesn't clog anymore. You can check it every 20, 30 minutes. Uh, when it stops clogging, it's time to go to a lower or a smaller micron filter in your actual pre-filter vessel. Uh, keep doing that basically and you get down to around 10 micron, one micron. Uh, you'll be at a point where you're ready to switch into fine filtration mode. Go ahead and leave in the same bag as long as you're not getting a high rating and uh, you're basically ready to move into uh, phase Concluding phase two, you're at the point where you want to remove a lot of the fine particulate and potentially any emulsified or dissolved water uh, within your fuel. Now, at that point, you've done the pre-filtering, your fuel is uh, semi-clean but not to an acceptable level. So the goal at this point is to move through the spin-on filters down here with the high efficiency media. So when you're ready to move into this phase three, uh, you want to change the diverter valve to go in line with the actual filter bank. Now what that's going to do is fuel leaving the pump is going to hit the diverter valve, turn towards the actual uh, plumbing here, and come back out your same discharge port. So there's no need to disconnect your hose. Leave the same hose in the tank, same thing with the suction hose, everything should stay in place. Uh, what will happen now is it passes through this back filter or filter number one first, and then through this second one. So these are really in series, so high particulate removal, well, 10 micron, uh, 25 micron, if it's not really necessary to get it that clean. Then you want to move through either a water block or a low, three micron absolute, one micron. Really depends on the specific job. Now, you'll continue this in phase three uh, using these filters up, and you'll keep an eye on basically two differential pressure gauges we have here at the bottom. Uh, one refers to the back filter, two refers to the front filter. Uh, and at the same time, keep an eye still on your pre-filter because you are removing uh, any large particulate that may be still be remaining in the tank. Now, during this phase, when you're ready to change an actual uh, spin-on filter, we have incorporated the filter drain system. Uh, at this point, you know the filter needs to be changed. We have set this up so you don't need to shut the system down. Now, you can if you're not comfortable, but the way we do this is you're continuously running in fine filtration phase and you're ready to drain those filters. We switch the diverter valve back in line with the discharge port. Uh, this is gonna bypass all this plumbing and we can take, and this valve on the inside here has two options, uh, vacuum and injection. So if you take and you switch that to vacuum mode while this is in bypass mode, what you're doing here is you're draining all the fluid from these two, uh, two spin-on filters. Now, during that process, you can see this clear hose behind the actual um, filter bank. This hose you're gonna see turn whatever color the fluid is and you'll see actual fuel move through that hose. Uh, you'll wait a minute or two until the fuel and air are moving through that tube until it's majority air. When uh, that happens, you know you've basically drained these down to an acceptable level. You'll take and you'll turn off this valve back to the off position. And you can leave the system running at this point. Uh, there should be no harm. Keep this valve in line in bypass mode with the discharge port. And you can actually take these filters off because you've isolated this set of plumbing. Uh, you take these filters off, replace them with clean filters, ensure the seal is tight, you can follow the manual at that point, and when you're ready to move back into fine filtration mode, all you have to do is really change the valve back into uh, the bank. Now, this process will be run in phase three until the fuel is at a cleanliness level that's acceptable by the customer. Uh, ISO count might be a good way to understand what they need and where you need to be at the end of the day. Uh, visual sample may be fine for some, some customers. It really depends on the tank and the specifications they need to meet. Uh, one thing we do offer though, because not everyone needs two filters uh, for fine mode, is the back filter when we sell it from the factory is typically a void filter. So the filter casing but no media inside it. This will allow you to have almost the same setup as the existing MTC systems. What you'll have is one void so the fuel is allowed to pass completely and then you'll have a, uh, a regular spin on with the typical media. So there's a few different options. Uh, this is kind of the experts fuel polishing system. It'll offer you a number of different options. If you don't need to pre-filter, you can skip without the bag. If you don't need to do two fine on spin, spin on filters, you can use one with a void, or you can go to two and do three phases basically at once and get a very, very clean fuel sample. For more information on the MTC X25 or other products in development at AXI International, 
visit us at our website at www.axi-international.com, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, or call in.